So on this video, I'm going to tell you what an upsell is and why you should consider using upsells. So an upsell is basically an offer you make to the customer, like an upgrade or an add-on that they can buy when they're at the checkout. By using upsells, you can really increase how much money you make per sale because you're offering extra value and solutions to what the customer was originally looking for. So this not only helps you make more sales, but it also helps your customers because you're showing them something that can further help solve their problems. So let's go into how you actually create these upsells. So I'll go to the checkout page on the sidebar, and then we're gonna click upsells on the tab on top. And then we'll click new upsell on the top right. This is where we create the upsell right here in the center. And on the right side, you got the preview panel where you can see what that will look like. So this will be the checkout page. And whenever they go to buy a product, they'll get this pop-up window that offers the upsell. So now let's start with the very first option is name. We're going to have to give this upsell a name. And this is more like an internal note for yourself. That way you don't get confused as, you know, what this upsell offer is for. Because later on when you have dozens of upsells, it'll be easier to decipher which one's which if you give it a good name for yourself to remember. So for this one, we'll just say 100 ideas to 1,000 ideas. So this is going to be an upsell I'm going to create for one of my lead magnets that leads into an upsell product. All right, so now on the offer text, you can see right here, there's nothing on the upsell offer. There's nothing written, but once we put something on the offer text, it's gonna tell them, well, whatever message you wanna write. So for this message, we'll just say, upgrade to 1000 digital product ideas. And now you can see that it's reflecting on the preview page on the little upsell window. But when customers go to buy this, like that's going to probably be a little too vague. So what you want to do is add a little more description to this offer. And that's where we fill this in on the offer description. So I'll go ahead and just copy and paste a message I have right here. It says upgrade your list to over 1000 ideas plus how to make them and where to sell them. That way it gives a little more context as to what they're gonna get if they accept this upsell offer. Now the next thing we wanna look at is the type of offers. You got three choices. So on the first one, we have add another product to the cart. And that just means they will get what they are buying plus this upsell product. So basically two products. On the second option, we have replaced the selected product with another product. And that just means that they will get the upsell product instead of the initial selection they made. So it's a replacement. On the third option, you have replaced the version selected with another version of the same product. And this is when you make multiple versions of a product, like say a basic tier, a premium tier, or whatever tier you wanna say and you just replace it with, replace the upgraded tier or upgraded version with the selected one they have. And on this example, we'll go with the second one. We're just gonna go ahead and replace the product that they chose with a different product. So now to work on the triggers. So this upsell is gonna apply to a certain offer or multiple offers. I want it to apply to this one right here. And this is basically all your products right here. And all these that are selected are gonna be triggers that activate this upsell offer, but we just want one. So basically when somebody goes to buy this one product, it's gonna trigger this upsell offer at the checkout. But the thing is we don't have, nothing's being offered at the moment. So now we're gonna go to the second step product to offer. So now when they go to check out with this product, which product do you want to upsell? We're going to go with 
1000 digital product ideas. So now you can see on this preview panel that it actually shows a product cover and then the name of the product. So now when people go to buy this product, right before they go to check out, they're going to be offered this upsell right here. Now on the last step, you got settings. So you could choose to add a discount to the offered product. You can, but at the same time, you don't have to. But if you wanted to offer a discount, you could just toggle this on. And then you could choose either a percentage based discount or a fixed amount. So you could say like an exact amount, like $3 off, $5 off, whatever. Or you could say for this example, we'll go with 40% off. Okay, now that we have the upsell completely created, you can see this is the checkout. And now this is a completed upsell offer. After that's complete, we'll just click save. And now you created your upsell offer. So if you ever wanted to, you could always click the details on this. That way you can see what the discount is, how many people use the, off, uh, the upsell offer, how much money you've made from this upsell, and then the selected products, basically the ones that trigger the upsell. And then the other one is offered product, the one that's being offered in the upsell. All right, so the next thing we want to do is go ahead and test this out to make sure that this upsell is working. Okay, now that we're at the product page, we're going to try a test purchase. So this is a free product. We'll click zero, buy this. Now we're at the checkout page. So this is what the customer is going to see. They're going to go ahead and enter their email address for this free product. Once they enter their email address, they'll click get. And now the upsell offer pops up. So this is how you test your upsell. Just make sure you go to the product, go to the checkout, click get, and then the upsell should pop up. And you can see the headline for this upsell, the description, the product being offered, and then it shows the discounted price if you put a discounted price. So if they click upgrade, there you go. Now it's going to go from requesting just an email to also requesting payment details. And that's it.